Hello, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter, and I welcome you to my channel. I'm trying to go live today. It's been a minute, <laughs> and I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping, and hopefully I can have some friends join in as I craft today. And I'm hoping to be in the correct orientation, and if not, then I will fix that. So if you're new to my channel and you're re-watching this video, I make videos using a the great majority of the items are from tonic studios and today i am going to be unboxing one of the kits which is still available and will be available up until the 18th of this month and a new kit will be revealed on the 20th of this month month <laughs> so i'll be back on the 20th with a new video for you but i'm now going to just try to find my video on the internet so if you could uh, bear with me i'm just doing a little bit of housekeeping here because for some reason i do have to log out of my account to be able to even find my videos and that's just a youtube thing i don't know why it does that um and hopefully i can find my channel so hello tanya thank you for being here as usual, I'm trying to find my account on the internet so that I can actually join in <laughs> uh, to make sure that I can see um, the uh, the channel. And I apologize that that's just, for some reason, it's how it happens for me um, when I try to watch the live videos to see if um, I'm in the right place and all that. It doesn't usually work. Okay, so I think I'm here. All right, so that way I can see the chat. So um, it's just gonna take me one more minute here to make sure that everything's facing the right way. So I'm going to cover up the camera really quickly and then flip this over because as usual, it appears I'm upside down. Uh, so bear with me one moment. I can um, assure you that we'll get going in just a second here. And I don't know why that happens all the time, but welcome to Paints and Glitter. <laughs> Hopefully we're back in business now. And I'm going to uh, kind of tilt my camera a tiny bit here so that way you guys can actually see what's going on on my table. And someday I'll get this whole live thing situated. I am sorry that I don't have, you know, <laughs> I don't have a Hollywood studio. So it goes without saying that I just have to fiddle with the camera until I'm able to see what's going on here all right so I'm able to see the table now in the correct orientation um, I'm gonna see if I can see the chat because that's kind of important um, hmm. bear with me guys and i don't see the chat at all and this is what's always giving me grief is the fact that i'm not able to see the chat but i'm looking up there and it does say that lasagna is here and tanya is here so thank you ladies for being here um i'm going to try to one more little thing here to see if there's any way that i can actually see um the chat <laughs> so i'm so sorry um this is i don't know why this happens guys i really don't i'm going on my channel i'm looking at the live and i'm there and yeah there's no chat available for me and i don't know why that is um hmm. well i'm gonna proceed anyway and Hopefully someday this gets situated, but thank you for whomever left me the thumbs up. Hopefully that means that you can hear me, and I'm just going to keep looking up. Uh, so Melissa, hello Naomi. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you from Maine. Thank you for being here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unbox this uh, tonic craft kit, and um, I said it very briefly in the beginning of the video that this is the one that's still available up until the 18th of this month. There will be a new kit coming up on the 20th, so I will have an unboxing video on that day. 
But for today, I'm just going to share with you what's in this one in case, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going in and out, <laughs> just like my camera, um, in case you haven't already seen it. So I'm just going to take everything out of the box and they do come like this right to your doorstep, really nice and sturdy. And no two kits are the same. So what's unique about the Tonic Studios craft kit is that you're going to get between $75 and $85 or $90 worth of product in any given kit. It's always going to be um, something that you can um, kind of mix and match. So you're uh, in this kit, for instance, uh, there's this nice little surprise, and I'm super happy that they sent this, and it is the... Um, the letter size pouch if you're not familiar with these these are kind of this really neat um mesh uh material on the inside which you can't feel the mesh but it's kind of encased and they're really nice and strong so if you're not um if you're not going to use it for crafting this is the kind of thing that's really nice to keep in your car for instance especially if you have small children or anything like that and you know that you have things that get messy and you just have to have them with you no matter what. This is a really uh, great bag for that. But if not, then absolutely you can use it in your craft room. It will fit your papers and that sort of thing. So if you are going to a crop, for instance, and you just want to keep your product or project all together, then it's fantastic for that. So if you're crafting with friends in an evening, then this is a really wonderful way to transport it, especially since you can see through it. Um, so I think Melissa said she got the kit. And I'm going to keep apologizing, guys, because I, I really, I don't know why I cannot see my chat on my live videos. This is an ongoing issue. I reached out to, um, to YouTube about it. And what they told me was that I could add an admin to my page which is really wonderful. I'm happy that I can add an admin to my page, but it still doesn't let me see my chat. So um, I don't know why it does that. And I don't know if it's because I'm using an iPad to watch it. It really, I don't get it. So if anyone out there has any pointers for me that has gone through it, please let me know. I'm happy to learn. I'm always a student of life. <laughs> so anyway, back to the kit. This particular month, it came with this binder. So hello, Melissa. Uh, you're going to have a binder coming your way. So I'm sorry that I haven't done it yet. <laughs> kind of needed it for the video. But every three months, you do get a binder like this one. And inside of it, you get your little wallet. You get an insert. It gives you kind of a sneaky peeky of what you can make. It does have the little um, QR code. So if you're fancy like that, you can go right to the page it has a listing of all of the items that come in your kit and what i love about this is, is that it also comes with the item number so that way if you quickly want to run over to the website and get more kind of like refills of the paper that you really enjoyed or maybe um, there's a paper in the kit that's brand new to you you've never seen it before but you just fell in love with it or any of the drops anything else that's in the kit then you can use those little numbers as your reference to go to the page, look it up using that number, and then shop to your heart's content. So each kit comes with a cute little sticker that you can then use. And this is the sticker this month. It says Jam Pot Gift Card. And you can label your little wallet with that. And this does have the little holes because you can use the Tonic Studios binders to put these away which is wonderful, or the ones that come every three months, okay? And then I've already put mine on a magnetic sleeve, but this is the other option, is that you can purchase these from Tonic Studios. They won't say this, this is just an older one, um, but they do have the clear sleeve, and then they're magnetic, and you can fit all of your dies on there comfortably, as you can tell, okay? In lieu of that, then of course, you can just use that little wallet, okay? And it does come with a little plastic covering, so if you're the type of person that likes to keep it like that, then nothing wrong with that. But it also comes with the little stamps that are exclusive to the kit as well as the die. So the little stamps are these. It says from me to you and it has these little vines with strawberries. Really super cute. There's the little flower stamp, strawberry stamp, and then, well, two different ones and I'll explain that in a moment. 
And then this little stamp that says, you deserve this. And I love how there's two different types of font in there. So it really kind of catches your eye, but then it has those little pretty swirls around it. Then as for the dies, there is this little piece here, which I'll show you in a moment how that looks cut out. You're going to get two strawberries and two strawberry shadows. You're going to get two little uh, leaf pieces there that will top off your strawberries. You're going to get that flower that you saw here. So if you want to, I mean, there's are no rules to this sort of thing. <laughs> but if you like to stamp details onto your die cuts, you can do that. But I wanted to show you that the flower is larger than the actual die. So they don't necessarily work together, but there's no saying that you can't use it to just give it a little more detail, especially if you like the heat embossed. I kind of like that sort of thing. So anyway, there are two pieces here, these rectangles, and then there is this piece in the center that you can tell coincides with these little circles here. This one has strawberry patterns on here as well as a little flower on top. And then the rest of it are the little leaves and all that. And it's absolutely adorable. The sentiments here will fit in the middle, as you can tell. And this says, thank, uh, what's, thanks very much. Yes, thanks very much. <laughs> and it's a pun, of course, with a B-E-R-R-Y. And then this one says, just for you, which is a sentiment throughout Tonic Studios. There's always a just for you. <laughs> then this one says, spread the love. And I love that because if there's jam inside, right? Another punny sentiment. Now those will fit also into this piece here, which you can use. And in fact, the little sample that comes with, um, they used it here. Okay, so here's one cut out and then they just put the little sentiment on top. But as you can tell, there's also this little piece here. So this will also fit in the center. So if you wanna layer it, then you can have that really pretty uh, pattern on there and then uh, stick a sentiment on top or you can cut into the center however you want to use it then there's also this piece here it creates a little sleeve onto which you can fit a little card for instance if you want to add a little gift card then it's going to nestle right in there so I think that's wonderful because you can use this with absolutely any other card that you might make so that's a universal die right there and it has the three tabs then here is the um, top of the little jam jar. And as you can tell, it comes with two separate dies there that you can use either a solid or use that really intricate portion there. And you can decorate the top of that jam jar. And then there's this. So the instructions ask you to cut this out. I think it's nine times. So that's uh, assuming that you're using cardstock, okay? So what I like to do is that because that's to uh, add dimension for your little sleeve that you're gonna create, I actually like to use, whenever possible, either thicker cardstock, which yes, you can cut with these dies, they're, they're quite nice, or I like to use foam. So that's what I'm going to be using today. And it does come with the instructions in case you're a very visual person and you like to follow the steps, you can definitely do that. And in fact, I think I forgot to cut one piece out. So you guys are gonna have to forgive me, but <laughs> I will do that quickly. I'm just gonna cut one piece out because it's the piece that actually contains that little, um, this piece here. So the other thing that comes in the kit is uh, papers for you to start right off the bat creating your cards. Now I've already cut into mine, but here are the papers. And there's this mirror card, and it's this beautiful uh, green that's, um, it, this is called a, um, a pearlescent mirror card. So I'm going to give you the names. This one happens to be, let's see here, mirror card, uh, spring, sl sl I think it's supposed to say silver, <laughs> spring silver, but uh, it says sliver, and I think that's a typo. But in any case, there's that mirror card. From the classic cards, there is this ballet pink. It's an absolutely adorable pink. Then there's this really dark green. This happens to be avocado green. And there's also this other green, which is called sea salt green. 
and of course you can talk cut into them there's this other um mirror card here and this is pearlescent and it's called pearl white and this is wonderful because yes you can stamp onto it even though it's got that pearlescent finish to it and it's double-sided the weight by the way is really nice on all of these then you do have a rose pink perfect for all those little strawberries and then you have my personal favorite hollow waves so there's a you know we call that a pew pew card <laughs> so cute um so i'm gonna just set these aside because i've already cut into them um oh and i'm sorry you do get a smooth white card this is 300 gsm so it's a perfect weight for a card base or for any kind of boxes that you might want to make um what i'm going to do is that i am going to cut a piece of this to cut off that one little um that one little die that I meant to cut out and that's going to be the only cutting that I'm doing in this live which you might be happy about <laughs> because uh, I've cut everything else out already so I'm just going to grab this tiny little piece and I'm going to take a peek again my little um, computer here went dead on me <laughs> uh, my computers all this technology but I don't know for some reason it doesn't cooperate when I go live. Mind you, I'm able to use it um, every day for any any other sort of things. So I'm just going to cut this away and I am going to use the 300 GSM on this because I just like a nice sturdy card. Um, and right behind me is my die cutting machine so you won't be able to see it. But I happen to have the Anna Griffin Empress so it is magnetic or at least this plate is. And Kind of grabs a hold of those dies nicely um and in the event that you are not aware there is a card stock uh craft perfect sale going on right now at tonic studios so it is a third i think it's 30 percent off of all of the card stock so if you are unfamiliar with their craft perfect paper let me tell you there are some beautiful bundles of paper going on right now so if you're interested i can show you some of that as well it was one of the little pieces i had cut out but here's my card base and what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to fold this because that's what those little score lines were for and i'm hoping everyone's having a beautiful saturday I decided to do a live video and of course now the sun comes out <laughs> even though it has been actually snowing here which is crazy yesterday it snowed in the morning and by afternoon it was sunny so it was it just felt so strange um but i'm just gonna use double-sided tape just because i know that there's some weight to this and of course you may want to just use liquid adhesive for that but i'm just going to get that prepped now what i did is i took a five by seven base in ivory these come already made for you by tonic studios with the envelope and i love that because it saves me a step i did cut mine down a tiny little bit and what i did was that i cut the papers that i'm going to use as my background and these are just a digital that i happen to have on hand um, and i'm going to use it as my little background here on the front and i already have one adhered to the inside of this card but if you're interested in um purchasing your card bases pre-made you can get them in a square i believe they have six by six eight by eight and they also have them in white pure white not just the ivory so i don't think they've started selling them in black just yet but the other thing is that tonic is going to be bringing to the us they already have it in the uk if you're watching the 12 by 12 cardstock in different colors and let me let's see da, 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 something georgia <laughs> all i saw was georgia i am so sorry i'm literally having to look up uh there to see what the chat says so my apologies guys um if my husband were here i would steal his um his cell phone and try to watch that way but let me see if there's any other way i mean i'm literally trying i try to find myself there on um 
um, on Google. And I'm going to try to enter the channel again because I feel so awful. I really do. And let's see here. Oh, did I find? Yes, I found the chat. Yay. I don't know how I did it. Okay, I found it. So I'm back. Yay. <laughs> that was lasagna. Okay. So there's Melissa, Tanya. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate your patience. So there's the base. And of course, if you want to, you can um, use the same stamps to stamp onto your envelope, um, make it super cute, all that good stuff. Hello, Karen Johnson. Thank you for being here. Um, so let me explain how I cut this out, okay? So here are the papers that I had cut using those dies. And this is where you get to see the detail, right? The really pretty aspect of these dies. Um, so here's the lid. And I use that background piece here to cut that darker green color, the avocado green. Um, then I use the simple shape there in the ballet pink. And then you're seeing some of that detail. What I did was that I cut using this particular die with all of that detail. I cut some of that, uh, I think it's, is it sea spray green? Um, it's the lighter mintier kind of looking green. So sea salt, I'm sorry. So I did cut that. And what I did is I, I used double sided adhesive, which you can get in a roll. And let me show you that in case you've not seen it. Um, okay, it comes like this. And this is a lifesaver because you get a ton of it in the roll. So let me show you the label. It looks like that. Comes like this, you know, and it's called a uh, double sided tissue tape. It's quite thin. However, the adhesive is really strong. And then what you do is you take out all those little pieces as if they were little stickers and you can adhere them into those really tiny intricate areas. So I highly recommend it. It makes it a whole lot easier. So here is the actual insert. And actually, let me show you this since I have it right in front of me, right? This piece here, which you can cut out nine times if you'd like to, as per instructions, if you're using cardstock, I cut out of this really thick foam. So that's an option. Now, foam will stretch when you cut it. So what I did is I just took my scissors and I very gingerly cut around it. That's it. So that way I would know that it does fit where I want it to fit. Then here's the, the insert. And... Um, I cut this out, okay, using this little die here. So that little lid piece is going to match right there. I'm gonna just go ahead and adhere that. And by the way, if you're interested in any of the items that I am mentioning here today, you can look in the description bar of my video and that's where you're going to find all of the links that I have for Tonic Studios or any other stores that I might mention that I am affiliated with. And of course, I'm going to mention it because it helps um, support my channel if you shop using those links. But it doesn't mean that anything will cost you anything extra, especially today because everything's on sale. And if you if you get the kit and you become a subscriber, you'll get 10% off of everything else in the Tonic Studio stores. And that includes on top of the 30% off of the all the papers right now. So it's a good time to take advantage of that. So one of the sentiments was the one that says, just to say, and I did cut that out of the holographic paper, in case you wanted to see what that looks like. And then I did take the pearlescent white card and cut that out. And all of that is going to fit on top of these layers. And here's that avocado green again. So I cut that using the largest rectangle here. Okay, so that's going to go on top of this. Um, then using the smaller rectangle, I cut out that ballet pink as a layer. And then using that same size plus this intricate piece, I cut out this beautiful panel. So if you see all the detail there, it is so, so pretty. So you can even just cut it like this and be done with that. Right, that's an option. You can cut that circle out of the center. You can turn that into a shaker if you'd like to. I mean, there's so much you can do with these dies. 
It all depends on how you're using them. I just figured that because I was going to do a live video, I would keep it simple. And I'm going to put this right on top of that ballet pink. And of course here I could do the same thing with all those little leaves, but I'm going to spare you guys the torture of watching me put all those little pieces of paper in there. I'm not going to do that on a live video. But the alternative, of course, is that you can just place that dark piece of paper behind your little layers and then, you know, adhere them and then just fussy cut around it. And I do that all the time as well, so there's always more than one way to go about it, okay? So I'm going to just adhere this. Now, um, I do love to make dimensional cards, but because this one's already going to have the dimension of that foam, that I'm just going to keep this kind of plain right on here. Hello, Sandra. Thank you for coming back. And thank you so much for sharing my channel. Um, someone else came back and told me that. I can't remember now who it was. That was like, hey, Sandra, shared your channel on a live I thought that was so sweet. I, I very much appreciate it. Um, oh, Karen, thank you. That is the highest compliment you could pay me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So I'm also here. I have the little grouping of flowers that I had cut out using the die. Okay. I didn't do any stamping. Um, and then here are the little strawberries, okay? So I had mentioned that there's the shadow and then there's the actual strawberry. And these, it's kind of hard to see the detail there. But, guys, I don't think I even mentioned the Nouveau, did I? <laughs> I really didn't. This is a Nouveau chalk mousse that's available in this kit with the brush. Gosh, I got so excited about the papers, I forgot about the Nouveau. There's the crystal glaze, so I'll open that and show you guys. And then there's this red berry um, Nouveau drop. Guys, I'm surprised no one yelled at me in the chat and said, hey, what about the Nouveau? <laughs> Wake up, Raquel. All right, so let me just get the plastic out of here, okay? But it does come nicely packaged, so you don't get any burst, you know, product in the mail. Um, so crystal glaze is clear. You can put this on top of absolutely anything for shine. Uh, Nouveau crystal drops dry shiny, just so you know, and in a dome. And then Nouveau chalk mousse, um, since I have not adhered any of this, if you guys want to, I can go ahead and add a little splash of that on there so you get to see what that looks like. Because why not? See, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> Um, yes, the glaze is wonderful, especially if you sprinkle a little bit of glitter on top. I love doing that with my flowers or this, even just the center of a flower. It really does add um, something special and it makes it so that it's not so messy. Um, so let's go ahead and I like to leave the foil lid on here. Because these are water-based products, and yes, they will evaporate and dry out on you. So you want to use them up as much as you can, okay? But it does look just like mousse. And then this one in particular will dry with a chalky finish. So that's really cool. Um, and I just so happen to have a stencil. Where is it? I have one around here. So I was just stenciling not too long ago. Okay, so I have this one. It's really yucky and messy, but let's just go ahead and use it anyway. And this is really old. It's from one of the kits. I think it was like kit 18 or something like that. But it did include a little brush. So let's be fearless and use it. Um, I feel like I'm making matcha. <laughs> okay, I don't know how much I should use, but I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm just going to wing it, and I'm doing the, the pouncing motion here, right? Now, most people are going to tell you to use your tape or your magnet or all that good stuff to hold this down, but this is how I really craft, and this is why I like doing live videos is because my whole point here is to encourage you to lose the fear of crafting. Just jump in. Don't think about it too much 
and try to have some fun with the products that you already have on hand or maybe the new products that you just got in the mail and have been sitting in a box for a while because <laughs> I hear that a lot um whoopsie and if you make a mistake you just practice forgiveness and um try it again and I'm oh I really like that okay so I don't know if you can see the texture but it's so pretty and what's neat about the chalk if you're wondering is that it does dry opaque so it's um it's got a little bit more um bang for for your buck when it comes to color uh when you're looking at it from the perspective of okay this is a light pastel color sometimes those colors tend to get lost um when you apply them in layers whereas this because you can apply it thick kind of like frosting or shaving cream <laughs> anyone else thinking of that, of that um then you're you're going to get the opacity of the actual color and that's going to help that pink stand out and i think it's so pretty now i i realize a lot of this is probably not going to get seen because i'm going to put that little jar on top but it's fun to use it anyway um and then remove that and if i want to i can wait for this to dry and it, it, later on i can add a little bit more i'm not going to do it right now because i don't want to ruin it with the back of that stencil but this again this is going to clean off with water so i'm not worried about that drying on the brush or anything like that but i am going to dry this um you're very welcome karen yes we all need that you know um <clears throat> and my thing is that you know I, I say also you can purchase an inexpensive pack of paper if you really don't want to ruin your specialty card for instance and i've always said that you can go to michael's here in the united states or you know joann's or whatever and buy a pack of paper that will sometimes cost you like two dollars and fifty cents for instance on sale and then take out your dies and just practice cutting into that paper in all different ways um, just to get kind of that groove of you know trying to find your style how is it that you like using your dies and then if you don't like any of it then it costs you two dollars and fifty cents <laughs> And that's less than a coffee so it's okay you can throw it all in the bin and start over again um, so for instance when we get um, we get these dies in the mail and that sort of thing if uh, if you've ever done any design team work or even if you haven't it doesn't matter um, you get them and sometimes you have to get yourself in the mindset of crafting because let's face it we all have real lives right and sometimes you have to make a prototype before you even get into the mood of, you know, making something really pretty that you're, you know, wanting to show other people. Um, so I don't think anyone's immune to that sort of thing. All right. So I think that was sufficient. And you saw my paper kind of, we, you know, um, go up and down a little bit. <laughs> That's because there is adhesive that was drying in between. But I can definitely set that under something heavy and let it dry. Uh, I always say with mixed media, if you're concerned about that sort of thing, just put your card under something a little bit heavy like a book overnight and you'll be in business. So, um, yeah, we all make prototypes. Don't let anyone fool you in thinking that we are pre perfect crafters all the time and that we always wake up happy and that life is just so easy because <laughs> that's not real. <laughs> that's not real anywhere in the world so all right so here's that little background piece and that's kind of needing to be hidden back here because that's going to hold the little card and then i have this however i want to adhere this little um kind of buffer to the background here just to make sure that this is in the correct place okay so i'm going to start there just because I want to make sure that this is, you know, fully adhered. And you can use, um, you can use double-sided tape here if you'd like to, but I am going to go ahead and use the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. Um, 
then you're done. Why, Sandra? <laughs> I hope I didn't say anything bad. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to discourage you. <laughs> I hope not. I'm just saying it's it's real, right? Life life can throw some challenges at you, but that's why crafting helps. Hello. Hi, Sam. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad I did a Saturday video so you could watch. So I know you're a hard work working mama. <laughs> oh, by the way, did were any of you impacted by um I know Sandra, you're not because you're you're down south, but um the whole earthquake thing? I found out about it because people were texting me. <laughs> I'm like, what me? I was supposed to be behind a rock somewhere? I don't know. Um God forbid, right? Oh yeah, Sandra, you're you know what? You're not alone in that, sweetheart. <laughs> but that's why prayer is a good thing because you know when you th feel like throwing your hands up in the air just just put them up there but then just pray <laughs> it helps i promise you it helps oh god but yeah i'm so happy that we were not impacted by any of that because I was uh, talking to Carolyn, if you guys know who Tea Time and Dolls is, and I was telling her, I was down in Puerto Rico when um, the uh, earthquakes hit down there. Thank God I wasn't there for the really big one, but um, I was there visit visiting my mom, and <laughs> it's uh, she was in the hospital, and I'm in her house, which is way out in the country, um, in the middle of the night, and I feel the bed move, and I'm, I'm in this house by myself, mind you. Um, and <laughs> I figured, oh, my husband got up to go to work. And that's why the bed shook, you know. And then it hits me. Wait a minute. I'm not even in the United States, and my husband's not here. And oh, my gosh, can I just tell you <laughs> a freak out moment. <laughs> okay, so I'm nestling this in here. Oop, like this. <laughs> going to nestle that in there because I want to make sure that that's going to fit in here before I adhere this onto the card, okay? So I'm kind of cheating here, but this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to center this as best as I can. And then I'm going to take a ruler. I'm going to kind of slide it in there to make sure that that's where it needs to be. I hope this helps, but I think it, it'll work. Um, okay, so Karen, South Central PA. All right, yeah. I'm in Northwestern New York and we didn't feel it at all. At least I didn't, but that could be just me. <laughs> could very well just be me. Um, all right, I'm trying to get this in here so that I can I'm trying to apply pressure onto those little tabs that I showed you guys. And it's looking like it doesn't want to cooperate. So I guess plan B, that's not going to work. Stick it down. <laughs> stick it down and move on with life. Okay, so I'm just going to stick it down. All right, there we go. And I did use that double-sided adhesive, so maybe that's what's going on there. But I'm going to press down on that. And then we'll cover that up. Um, but yeah, I admire anyone who can keep their cool during something like that. Because I was just like, okay, God, if it's my time to go. <laughs> I hope not. Not yet, but mm, you know, you have to evaluate those things. All right, so I want to make sure that this is going to fit in here. Yep. And one thing I'm noticing already is that you do want to make sure that that's fully adhered. So I'm not going to rush it because I don't want this to fall apart. I'm going to apply a little more pressure there. And sometimes it's worth watching another person struggle through it so you get to see how you can make it easier for yourself. Okay, so clearly that's going to fit in there. All right, so let's just suppose that that was my little card. It is the perfect size, so I'm so glad that they thought of that. Um, and then I'm just going to slip this right on top. 
as I had said before. Now, obviously, I could move this down a little bit. It's a little bit too high on the page. So, because no one's going to see this, no one's going to know that I put that way too high, that I'm just going to go ahead and move it down a little bit. There we go. Now I'm happier with that, so I'm kind of glad that it didn't stick. But I am seeing that it's worthwhile kind of putting that insert in first if you're going to use this to make sure that you get all of your little angles correct there. All right. Again, burnishing. <laughs> rub it, rub it. Um, to the jar. Oh, great idea. See, I, I like smart people. <laughs> That is such a great idea. Lasagna, I love you. <laughs> stick it to this and stop fighting with it. <laughs> great idea. Just stick it to that. Duh. <laughs> Why didn't I think of it, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. Lasagna, you're awesome. It probably would help to look at the instructions too. <laughs> I haven't even looked at them at all. And it's probably how it says to use it. <laughs> Lasagna save the day. All right, stick it to that and stop fighting. Okay, now <laughs> I am going to adhere this. Mamma mia. Leave it to me to complicate something, right? Um, okay, so this is going to now go on top. And guys, I got the sweetest mail. I haven't opened it yet from Gina. Gina is, uh, Gina loves to craft here on YouTube, who, by the way, recently had surgery, so um, those of you who like to pray for your friends, please say a prayer for Gina that she recuperates, because I know she's such a sweetheart. Okay, lasagna, Mwah! I love you. <laughs> You're awesome. You're such a good friend. <laughs> ah, okay, let me put this on top, and then we'll start the decoration. So I'm just going to put that little circle right on here <laughs> and I'm thinking actually you know what uh, yeah no I'm just I'm gonna keep it simple I'm going to just adhere this onto that little white circle and <laughs> I'm so glad you used all caps because you know I wouldn't listen otherwise <laughs> Oh my gosh. But yeah, that was that was quite the experience. Like, oh wait, I'm in Puerto Rico. It's pitch black. I'm in the middle of the country. There's no one around. If I die now, no one will find me for days. Ah! <laughs> that was literally what went through my mind. Okay, I am going to use uh, dimensionals on this. And you can get these uh, also from Tonic. I try to keep it serious, but I, I just can't. Not in a live video. It's just, you know, it's too much. Too much to think about. Okay, so I'm going to just put this right on top. And I realize that's kind of white on white a little bit. However, there's going to be quite a bit more color on this card, thanks to all of those little strawberries and everything. And my little jar could be a little bit straighter, but it's okay. I'm going to move on from that. And on here... I did cut out the little strawberries, but I wanted to give it a little bit of a shadow. Kind of just a, a tiny sliver of it, if you will. So, thank you so much, Karen. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mama Pillow. Um, it took Lasagna to teach me how to make it, but <laughs> it's a team effort. <laughs> we work together. Oh gosh, we are, uh, you know, there's no, no competition in, on this channel. This is like everyone all together now, because <laughs> Lord knows I need just as much help as anyone else. Okay, so I'm going to put these little guys here, and I realize I'm covering up that pretty shiny strawberry, but that's okay. It's all about dimension, and in, ca in any case, I can also do that, you know, kind of move them around a tiny bit before they dry so that you get that idea that there's more than one layer there 
and then I'm going to put these on top. And these do have all of that beautiful texture to them. So it's up to you if you want to highlight that with, for instance, a little white pen. You can just go through and kind of highlight the little C's. So that's optional, of course. All right, so if that's something you like, you can do that. If not, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so yes, this this is a um, a green um, mirror card that's available in the kit. So the background paper is not included, but all of the other papers are included in the kit. And I put that in the wrong place. They're all included in the kit. So that way you get to see all of the different hues that you can use on this type of craft or card, which is, I think, really cute. Um, and of course, you can just use uh, white paper and color them in if that's something that appeals to you. Or you can use the stamp set that was included in the kit, which I'll show you really quickly since you just got here. Um, that new glue. Um, so here's the little stamps. So if you're into that, you can do that instead. Um, so this is not new glue. This is still... Um, Nouveau um, Deluxe Adhesive, but I do find that this is the better glue that, um, as far as for me for crafting, I've yet to find a glue that I like as much as that one. Um, and I've tried lots of different adhesives. Now, having said that, you also have to realize what it is that I'm making with the glue, right? Um, if I'm doing something like, um, you know, making a memory book, I might be inclined to use something a little bit stronger. Or um, if I'm making, um, what was I going to say? If I'm making something that I, I just quickly need to layer together, I might use a red line adhesive um, like this because it does provide that you know instant tack but if i want it to be long lasting um this nouveau adhesive is wonderful because it actually does bond the paper together and it doesn't take very long to dry so i do highly recommend it i really like it um oh the tool i'm sorry yes i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving it i'm recommending it to everyone it's linked in the description bar of the video and that's not because i'm trying to get rich it's just that if i like a product you will see it in my videos if i don't like it i won't even mention it um i'll do a review i'll you know take a look at it play around with it and then all of a sudden it disappears and i don't mention it again <laughs> um but yeah i've had that um lasagna would know because she was here when i did the unboxing what's it been like three weeks or four weeks um and it comes with an empty bottle so that if you don't want to use the actual nouveau adhesive you can refill that other bottle with whatever glue you like but as far as the tool the only thing i have to do every day is this and you might see me doing that in my videos and that's because it does you know air dry the adhesive is going to dry so i just peel off what i don't want on there stick it back in the little cradle and this gets yucky so i clean it off you can use soapy water or you can use alcohol and just drench it and then clean that off and then i really love the fact that this is always there too because i use that needle to clean that little uh nozzle so yeah i love it um okay so it gets harder to get well you know what i do is i just when i start crafting i i've you know made the habit of doing that you know just to kind of clean it out and then at night if you're you know a really responsible person you can just close it off i've yet to do that it just stays there you know but i, I don't have any issues with it um I'm, I'm not any more patient than anyone else or anything like that. So, you know, um, 
there are tools that I've used that I'm, I've just, you know, gotten so frustrated with them that I'm like, ugh. But I'll tell you if that's the case, you know. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of body there. Um, those little strawberries that are left over, I can use on the inside of my card. Super easy. Um, and I see who else got here now? Rocky. Hello, Rocky. Yes, I tried a couple of times. I was having a little bit of issues um, even going live today, and then all of a sudden it worked. So I am very happy that I was finally, finally able to get on here. Um, and now I'm just going to layer these here. And there was another piece that I had saved. I think I found it. But there's a piece that falls out of this uh, portion up here that you can also use for the center of this little flower, which I find to be super cute. Okay. So there's that. And of course you can add a third one if you like and make it super pretty. Why not? Okay, so the bottom of, okay, and you were, uh, Lasagna was referring the bottom of the uh, bottle. I just leave it there. You know how you can take the little diamond off of here? You can take that off the cap and then just leave that bottle there for a couple days and let that go all the way down to the bottom, you know, of that nozzle. And then transfer it onto another, you know, fuller glue bottle. You can always do that. Okay. So there's that part, and now you can take your um, your Nouveau Drop, this comes in the kit, right? Create a little puddle with it, and these, again, these are water soluble, so why not use it to paint your little strawberries? Add a little bit of water, thin it down, and what you're going to get is that beautiful shine, but also the color. Um, and it'll look a little bit more enameled. Now, of course, you could do this before you stick everything down. But you guys know I'm a bit of a rule breaker. <laughs> um, I'm just going to color all of that. And it's going to be nice and shiny. And I didn't add the little white dots to all of the strawberries, but hi. My husband's back. He'd been gone and now he's back. He's quiet. It's okay. I'm sure the ladies would get a kick out of your accent. Ha ah. <laughs> I tease my husband. <laughs> Those of you who have been watching this channel long enough know that I just tease him because I say he's uh he's a New Yorker with a country accent which boggles my mind, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so there are my little strawberries. Now, of course, I could have added those little white dots to all of them, but now they're going to be nice and shiny. See that? And um, <laughs> I can, uh, yeah, Melissa, I'll tell me you said hello. So does the glue get hard in the tip of the dispensing end like when you forget to put the lid on? So yes, that's going to happen um, with any adhesive. However, what's kind of cool about this is that it has a little bit, that little red thing there. See that? It's silicone. So the glue will kind of rest on that and you can peel it off and clean it. Um, but because it creates kind of a little pillow for it, then it's enough for that tip to not com get completely clogged. And that's what's unique about this little design there. See, because it's going to rest right in there. So you do have to be mindful to clean it, you know, every so often. But I've left it overnight. And like I said, I just peel that little bit off and I keep moving and I'm okay with it. Um, so let's do the glaze because I had mentioned that. Um, I'm just going to clean this off really quickly. And that way you get to see, I did mention that there was, oh yeah, I saved this little center and I'm just going to stick that in the middle there, just like that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to draw the little white lines here on this flower with that jelly pen. 
just right where the actual paper is already embossed. And then I'm just going to use that little glaze on top. And then that little circle in the middle, we'll do the same thing there. And of course, you could always use a white um, drop, but in the event that you don't have a white drop, you can use this glaze. Now, I always like to test everything off the page before I go in. And then this, again, is just going to dry clear, which on a red piece of paper, you might not notice the difference, for instance, from the Nouveau drop that I just used, but with this, the great thing is that you can use it on any color paper whatsoever. Um, and like I had said before, you can also sprinkle a little bit of glitter on top. So let me see if I have some that will match. I think all of the glitter that I have is pink. Don't think that I have any white, or I'm sorry, red, but I did find my little sequins here. And because that's gonna dry clear, I can put a little sequin in the center. And these are awful cute because they're holographic. So I can just grab one of those and put it right in the middle and it's gonna dry right along with that glaze. Now they are kind of transparent, so <laughs> I'm having trouble seeing them. There we go. I think I caught one, it's like fishing. Um, so I can just put that right in the middle there. Woo, flapping, it flew away. Okay, let's do another one. I learned that word and I love it. Faffing, here we go. Faffing attempt number two, here we go. I got it. Okay, so now I have my little sequin there in the center. And if you want to be a little bit wild, you can add more than one. Just do kind of a little grouping. Because again, these are holographic, but clear, if that makes any sense. Opalescent, I guess, would be the word. And they're so cute. I do want them in the center, though, not on the petal. <laughs> I'm going to try to direct them there. There we go. Okay. And I'm quite happy with that. Oh, there's that other one. So, of course, you add however much or little as you like. That's up to you. But I really like the design of this. I love the fact that it will fit that little card, as I had shown you, on the inside. So that if you want to give away a little gift card, it's going to slip right in there really nicely. And this is just, of course, one of many options that you have. That chalk mousse, I think, is darling. I now wish I hadn't used this green paper on there. But what I'll do is I'll, you know, I'll wait for this to be completely dry and I'll go back in and add a little bit more there. I don't want to ruin it at this point. So I'm going to set that aside a second. And I am going to just adhere these really quickly because I'm going to add them to the inside of... Um, the card. I have to watch my strength. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've done that, Mama Pillow. I've, I've gotten um, the drops all over the place, especially after almost completing a project. And then you're like, why? <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I was saying earlier that, you know, don't think that um, there's anything perfect about absolutely anyone who crafts because that's not true. We all make these horrendous mistakes and then, you know, you just have to say, well, I tried <laughs> and then move on to the next thing. Um, but yeah, I've had moments where I'm just like, okay, I need to step away from this and then come back tomorrow. <laughs> I've had moments like that. Um, 
Okay, I'm going to clean this off really quickly. And I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open my Happy Mail with you guys if you're okay with it. But yeah, I think I'm I'm quite happy with that. Now, of course, you know, I will go back in and if there's a little piece there lifting like that, I'll just use that little needle nozzle and just put a tiny little drop of adhesive and lay that flat again. Um, but I'm really happy with the size of of this the scale is what I want to say I really like the scale of for instance the, the little strawberries the sentiments in the center because if you're familiar with tonic studios dies there are a lot of other projects that will coincide and let me show you one really quickly um, so for those of you who may have gotten this box that busy buzzy bee box or whatever <laughs> you see this right it's the same size so if you want to use those sentiments on this box you're going to be able to do that and then if you just want to add a load of strawberries to something like this and kind of combine both there's no reason why you couldn't do a set and then just decorate the panels on here with papers that have the strawberries stamped all over them because now you have strawberry stamps. Do you see what I mean? If I use Goo Gone to clean my tonic, no, 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 don't use that. <laughs> don't use Goo Gone. Um, and yes, this is five by seven. I just did cut it down by maybe a sliver. Um, but these card bases, and I'll show you that. Um, give me one second. They come like this and it comes with the envelope. Um, in fact, let me decorate that real quick, but lasagna, just use alcohol for your craft mat and then that way you won't scratch it up. Um, I keep a bottle close to my workspace and that's all I do and it gets all of the adhesive right off of, um, your surface and it keeps it nice and, you know, disinfected and clean and all that good stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and stamp this because it'll make it cute, right? So let's put, you know, kind of give the recipient an indication that there's something cute inside. Um, use the little strawberries. That way you guys get to see what this looks like. Um, I'm going to use archival ink in carnation red. Why not? It's nice and bright and happy. I'm going to do one first. And I kind of like decorating this portion of the envelope. Isn't that so sweet? And I don't know how long <laughs> that's going to take to dry. Hopefully not too long. <laughs> um, and then over here. A little grouping Ooh, and I'm kind of squeezed a little bit too hard on that one but that's okay and I'm gonna move that aside and use the other one but the reason I say not to use Goo Gone is because Goo Gone is a bit of a solvent okay um, and now I know this is tempered and the image is kind of behind the gloss there but I don't know. That's just my two cents. I'd rather you use, I know alcohol is also a solvent, but alcohol evaporates so quickly that by the time it does any of that stuff, the worst thing that can happen is that you'll ruin your manicure, <laughs> but that's about it. But I use that to clean all of my tools, everything, the tweezers, the spatulas, you know, when I'm done crafting, I have a big crafty session. I just grab, you know, a kitchen towel, di you know, how do you say that in English? La mojo, <laughs> douse it with alcohol and then um, clean everything and it works wonderfully. Um, and speaking of, I'm just going to wipe this off. Now you don't have to necessarily clean your stamps. I don't know. If, I know there's two schools of thought on that, but it really doesn't do anything. I don't know. Um, I always say that I don't think that my grandchildren, if I ever have any, are going to inherit any of my craft supplies, so I'm really not worried about it. 
Um, but there's one little way that you can add that little extra something special. And I don't know about you guys, but I think strawberries are just such a universally cute um, way to decorate anything. Um, and if you really want to go crazy, you can do your mixed media on here as well with that mousse. If you like to send, you know, uh, maybe cards and a swap or anything like that, it's really fun to add that also. But as I mentioned before, and I'm just moving things out of the way, guys. Um, so that way I don't have a pile, even though I already have a pile. Um, there, because there is another card um, set that I can show you in just a moment. But I'm going to open this because Gina was so sweet to send it. And I have no idea what's in here. And I like the element of surprise just as much as any other person. But... Um, so thank you, Gina, if you watch this video, which I know she tries to watch all of the videos. I don't know how she manages to do it, but I just figured it would be really sweet to go ahead and open this live. So let's see what she put in here. So guys, if you do uh, like to support other channels, then of course, everyone in the chat, you can follow each other's channels. Don't forget to do that. Um, and then by all means um go visit my girlfriend gina and again she's gina loves to craft and she loves to do haul videos so if you like to watch that sort of content then you're gonna love gina's channel so oh my goodness she sent me a rubber stamp which i do enjoy look how cute she is this is of uh, the greeting farm and it says rubber stamp on clean cushion and her name is Flirty Anya. Oh my gosh, how darling. I love her little polka dot dress. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness, how darling. And this is like chock full of stuff. I cannot believe this. <gasps> Ooh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, and then here are some clear stamps. And they all are birds. Oh, this is so darling. I think Crafter Square, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's from like dollar, the dollar store maybe here in the U.S., right? But this is gorgeous. I didn't know they had such pretty stamps. And speaking, oh my gosh, and this is a Prima stamp. And this is called Prima Princesses Catherine. <gasps> Guys, look at that. It's huge. And I, okay, so this is from 2017, because I know some of you are going to be like, I want that stamp. <laughs> and it's item number 590895. So I don't know, have a look at scrapbook.com if you're interested, because I know they sell Prima products, but oh, that is stunning. St that's what I look like when I lay in a bed of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Gina's amazing. She's, she's, yeah, so that's true. Sandra, she buys a lot of D-stashes. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of the stuff came from a D-stash. And I couldn't care less where anything comes from so long as it's, you know, crafty and, and fun. Like, I don't care what brand it is. I don't care if you got it from the dollar store. I don't, you know, to me, it's the gesture that matters. And she's got a heart of gold. So she could send me a pencil in the mail and I'd still be excited because she's a phenomenal human being. So, wow, this is okay. So this is CC Designs and it's all love sentiments. This is so awesome. Look at that. It's the moments together that change us forever. Isn't that the truth? I love you more today than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. Um, Valentine's. Oh, this is so adorable. And they're all in really perfect condition. Thank you so much, Gina. Oh, my gosh. Then there, Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. I think I may have seen this before. This is a fun stamper's journey. Um, what a melon. And it's a little rubber stamp. And it's got that little watermelon slice and then the sentiment there. It's so cute. That is adorable. And it makes me want to eat watermelon. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then here's a stamp and die set. And it says MFT. 
So my favorite things, right? That's the acronym for that or the, you know, and it's all little flowers. That is darling. Now I'm, oh, I'm super excited about this because I love using that kind of stamp on the center of other, you know, paper flowers. So thank you, Gina. That's so cute. Um, this is a brand new stamp and die set, <laughs> 17 pieces, crafter's companion, um, spring wreaths. Oh my gosh. And it looks like you can stamp all of those. Yep. Onto this little die cut piece. Happy birthday. Hello friend from my heart to yours. And I think there's another one back here. Yep. It says today's all about you. Wow. 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 Super cool. Okay. So here's a sample. That's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Tanya. I'm sure she'll be super excited. So yes, her name is, um, so is it, is it Raquel? Someone in another chat said they are retired designs from a big company. Oh, or I'm sorry. It is. Oh, okay. So it's retired stamps from another big company. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> something, something. All right. So this is close to my heart, close to my heart for my beautiful friend. And this is a company that's closing, right? It's so sad. One of the first reps I ever met of this company um, um, was one of the first people who actually introduced me to stamping. Because back in the day, I used to think like, what's the point? <laughs> me and my cynicism I was like why would you stamp why not just draw <laughs> but I had to get out of my own brain um so this says for my beautiful friend it's a little girl with a bouquet of flowers absolutely stunning um sending my love you bring so much happiness to into my life all these butterflies dragonflies hearts all the cutesy things that is adorable and so very pretty okay so it looks like there are oh okay so this is a die and this cuts into the background it says just because and it's a pop-up so it makes that that's super cool i like that for um like masculine cards <laughs> this is so cute oh my gosh yeah rocky i'm in agreement with you um i never got into like the whole thing um because back then i was doing more scrapbooking um but yeah i knew someone who used to sell the stuff and it, it was all gorgeous absolutely stunning um this, <laughs> look at this this is coco i don't know who coco is but she's ready to shop <laughs> she's so cute oh my gosh that's darling and she's got little glasses on and a little purse. CC Designs. <laughs> I've never seen her before. This is adorable. I like this sort of thing for um, for uh, journaling also. Um, so that way I can have a little, just something on the side. And this is also CC Designs. And this is a little, I guess, I don't, like a little Christmas elf, right? <laughs> With the present. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So then this is uh, Sweet and Sassy. I've never heard of them. And it's a little penguin. It says, what'll I do? And artwork by Corin Sutherland. And that's super cute. It's very kind of uh, homespun. What'll I do without you? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, she sent me some stickers. Kawaii stickers. Thank you, Gina. I'll put this in my calendar. And Japanese, I still don't know. I don't know how to read Japanese, but that's okay. <laughs> Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty. I've loved Hello Kitty since I was a, a toddler, I think. Um, so, yeah. I okay, so it is Heartfelt. Yeah, Heartfelt Creations is also closing. But then again, I did see a video from their owner. And I, I I could have sworn she said that they were going to go digital, but maybe I was just out of my mind that day. I don't know. Oh, so there's another one of these little girls. This is, yep, they're friends, I guess, or the same little girl or something like that. 
and it's the same company and then this is flirty Anya and then this is fancy Anya and she's got little barrettes in her hair and a cute little like um uh ballerina dress I guess there she is super cute I don't have a lot of cutesy stuff um sweet and sassy is a Christian based thing oh I didn't know that there's so much that out there, you know, that I'm not familiar with. Um, okay. Oh, and I guess there was a card. Maybe I should have started there. <laughs> I did it all backwards. So now this is another dye company that I've never seen. So I've never seen black dyes. But these are all little phrases. It's a party. Happy day. Um, keep in. Oh, keep in touch. Oh, I like that. Get well enjoy and something <laughs> i have no idea oh i think it says invited invited so those are cool gina 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 she is just so precious and so so generous and this is nothing unusual for her by the way in case you guys think that uh like did she lose her mind no this is gina's heart this is how she is with everybody um so this is also from cc designs and this is rose with balloon oh my gosh she's so cute <laughs> this is so stinking cute uh she's got a little headband with a little heart oh my gosh and her little legs are just so cute oh and it came with the dye came with the dye oh and a little banner even and the little balloon dies and then here's the little stamp i can't wait to use that that's so stinking cute thank you gina and she sent some little stickers with hearts and now i'm finally going to open the card <laughs> oh my gosh so let's see here i'm reading the comments black dies are diamond press oh thank you for letting me know yeah i'm not familiar with that company so here oh I wanted to say thank you for thinking of me thank you for your continued support and love so happy we met on YouTube thank you Gina um, and appreciate your friendship you always inspire me and love all the work you do on YouTube sending love Gina loves to craft thank you Gina it's mutual I mean I love um, getting the opportunity just to meet people from all over the world i always say if it were not for that there would be no point in making the videos um you know there's you can have all the creativity in the world if you don't have someone to share it with then it is of no you know of no consequence there's nothing to be gained from it so this channel is here to inspire you to use what you have to inspire you to reach out of course that you know to let you know that you're not alone in your crafty journey but you're also not alone just in your life journey so um i always tell people if you need to reach out for any reason go ahead and do so um there's um there's no anonymity here or you know none of that no no competition no anonymity none of that stuff i just love to share what i love to do and also what other people love to do because why not this is you know what community is all about right um so thank you gina again this has been a pleasure to go through and open up and just have fun seeing all these different things because a lot you know some of these brands i've seen before and then a lot of them i had not seen before so now i get to see something new of course um yes and i wanted to share with you guys one more thing there's another set that i was playing with so let me share with you what i made because it was just a really quick card but i also had fun creating with it because i had not yet played around with it and here's see my stash of things <laughs> um it's this one right here and some of you may be familiar with that design but for those of you who are not I'm going to share the set and it's a little bit far guys so bear with me <laughs> uh, 
because this is the Blossom, oh, I know the name, I know the name. Blossom, Blossom, Blossom. <laughs> I had it in my head two seconds ago. Um, blossoming Bouquet, I'm going to say it's a Blossoming Bouquet. I might be incorrect on that. Um, but in any case, it came with these stamps here which give you that outline of those flowers and then all of these sentiments it says i wish i could be there um then it says your special day for being you and that's to go along with these bigger sentiments like enjoy sorry and thanks it says you deserve this know that you're appreciated your kindness wasn't or hasn't gone unnoticed i love that stamp it says your day to hear your news to hear you've not been well stay strong i'm here for you this is darling for always being there it's late you're the best <laughs> so of course oh and then for listening so of course you mix and match as you um as you need to but what's unique about this is that it comes with uh, not only the dies to cut out that background and that's what I did was I actually cut out the floral bouquet there after coloring it but it comes with these little banner dies that you can use for the sentiments it comes with two little hearts it comes with the background for each of those larger sentiments and then it also comes with the stencils and that's what's really neat about this corsage so yes I think maybe that's the name of it um uh, I'm trying to think. Guys, I apologize. I've gotten so much in the mail within the last few days. <laughs> That's the excuse I'm going to use for not knowing the name of this. I'm just trying to think of where I put the packaging because I tend to take them out, as you can see, and I put them on my little uh, carrier sheets here and all that. Um, in any case, this set is on sale right now, over 50% off. Um, if you click on the Tonic Studios link, you're going to see it in the sales that are on right now. And I believe it's $24.99 for all three of these. The stencils, the dies, and the stamp. Excuse me. And um, it comes with these pieces, which you can then use to kind of guide you as to your color placement. And what's neat about this, if you can tell there, is that then you can color in the little spaces with your inks. And that's exactly how I made this. You can take your little brushes, you know, you can get the, the kind that are like this or smaller. And then you just brush in your colors and get the intensity that you like, for instance, for the centers of the flowers. Or you can color it in with uh, pencils if you like to that's another option and then there's these larger ones which will do the same thing so depending on how many um, layers you choose to add then you can go around match it up and then do for instance your mid-tones you can do your lighter tones with a larger surface there um, it's all up to you know how you enjoy coloring your flowers um, but then what's kind of neat is that it does have these little guides on the corners. So if you're absolutely new to stenc stenciling, you can guide yourself by that because there's a little square um, on one corner. There's a triangle on the other and then a circle on the other. So you can use those to guide you as to where it is that the stencil is actually going to fit. Um, oh, and I see here, thank you, Mama Pillow, Splendiferous Corsage. Of course I would remember that name. <laughs> yeah, so um, Aloha Kuipu, thank you for being here. Um, Kuipu, I, I just love your name. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is a lot of fun because it doesn't, it takes kind of the hard work out of coloring something that can look dimensional so if you're new to you know to coloring then stenciling can be a lot of fun because then you can also give yourself the freedom to try out different colors i ended up using kind of you know all the same color family there but for instance with the leaves um 
you don't have to use just green. I ended up using an oxide ink on top of another type of ink, I think it was, water-based. Um, and I love to see kind of the, the differences in that. And then on the background here, this is a doily dye from Tonic Studios. And what I did with that is I colored it using um, this sparkle spray in the color Wispy Willow. And this does have that metallic kind of mica in it. So I just took it with a brush and painted onto that. And then the sentiment I stamped onto vellum that I had also colored with another sparkle spray. And then there you see how I finished it off with some of those little glitter and um, Nouveau drops, just in different kinds. So the, let me see here. I used Sherbet, Sherbet, I don't know how to say that. Sherbet, Sherbet, <laughs> Sherbet, <laughs> uh, Shimmer. And that color is, uh, yeah, that is the color, whatever. It's pink. And then I also used um, Gold Coast. This is a gorgeous color because if you like kind of that iridescent look, but with a little bit of gold, that's the perfect drop for that. And then I did use a green one. They just happen to be here. Um, this is soft mint and this is a crystal drop. So that intensity of color is exactly what you'll get with the drop. So you can use that actually to even color in the leaves. What I did is that I used the gold uh, glitter drop to finish off the leaves and then I use that other pink one for the centers of the flowers so if you see how the light hits that then you're able to see all that shimmer and shine um so uh Lasagna saying I love using layer stencils I ordered the card sets from tailored expressions um <laughs> Creepo, don't worry. Do you know that that's supposed to be chocolate ice cream anyway? <laughs> so <laughs> no worries. Um, sparkle spray. So yes, Mama Pillow. Um, oh, Creepo, this is the splendifer splendiferous. I'm going to say it in Spanish. Splendiferos <laughs> corsage. Because <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say that word. Um, and it is, it's uh, $26.99, which is over half off right now. It comes with the dies and it comes with the stamps. So if you want to take advantage of that, if you happen to be a kit subscriber, you're going to get an extra 10% off. Um, and it, you know, I just think it's a super cute set, especially for Mother's Day coming up because you can do the flowers. You can just, you know, use the little hearts for a background if you want to if you're going to give it with a gift you can write uh or stamp out that you deserve this um you can create a little separate tag with this piece here and it has the little hole in there for you already so you can string that onto a gift so i just think it's super cool or if you just want to say thank you you can make a really quick thank you card um thank you so much yeah it just rolls off the tongue mama Pula. i think there's a competition over at tonic and they just sit around this round table this is what i'm picturing and they say how can we tongue twist these people as much as possible when we you know name these products and then whatever's the hardest thing to say that's that's what they put on the packaging and that's you know my theory and i'm sticking to it so um <laughs> because there are so many and i know i'm not the only one who thinks that way so <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> um but yeah, this has been a lot of fun, guys. You know that you can come back to this channel. Uh, I want to invite you, in fact, to come back. What month is it? April. Okay, so April 20th. <laughs> April 20th, you can come back, and I'm going to unbox the newest kit. However, this one here is still available up until the 18th. So if you're not a kit subscriber and you want to take advantage of that, don't wait um, past that date um, if you're thinking about it because then you won't be able to uh, purchase it unless it comes back up as a vault sale. And those only happen three times a month. Um, they're a lot of fun. You can stock up on uh, kits if you want to, but in the meantime, I just want to let you know that that is available in case you want to take advantage of that. Um, oh, thank you, Mama. Uh, yes, me too. I love green. <laughs> If my husband were here, you'd be able to see. He's wearing a green t-shirt. He's always wearing green. Um, 
uh, but yes, uh, you guys, I hope that you do come back for those uh, future videos. I also have very soon another make to share with you that I wish I could give a hint at, but I can't. And then, um, oh, but I think it's so cute. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And then the other thing I wanted to quickly mention before I let you guys go is that if you missed out from the March Madness on the fairy houses, and I can only show you one because the other one's upstairs. Okay, if you missed out on these dies, which were absolutely so much fun to make, um, I did see that Jody Johnson, who works for Tonic Studios and is one of the designers, she stated that they would be bringing them back. Um, so as soon as that link goes live, if I have to share it with you, then I will share it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And then here's the other one. Okay, so if you missed out on these and you really want to get your hands on it, as soon as I have a live link, what I'll probably do is I'll try to share like an Instagram reel or something like that. I'll pop the pictures back up again and then share a new link for you so that you can get your hands on it. Oh, Lasagna, you missed it. Um, I'm so sorry, sweetie. But um, yeah, hopefully the, they bring back big quantities. <laughs> That's all I can say. But thank you, thank you so much for having been here with me, guys. You know that I absolutely enjoy every single one of you. And, um, oh, wonderful, Mama Pillow. I'm wonderful. That, uh, I'm happy that they mentioned it on Friday also. I missed that video, but see, confirmation. That's wonderful. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope that you can all be inspired and be blessed. And I thank you so much for having spent your Saturday with me. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Oh, Kweepu, watch my tutorial. Um, if you quickly want to tell me what you're having trouble with, let me know. Um, what are you having issues with before I go? Because I hate to hear that. Because I, I did create some tutorials, and I'm hoping that they're clear and easy to follow. But, yeah, tell me what you're having issues with before I go. And I'll, I'll try to help you. <laughs> Since I'm here. Um, I'm going to wait and see if Kweepu writes anything. So yeah, these are adorable, Sandra. They're absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I had this one upstairs. My husband brought it down for me because it matches my living room. <laughs> so I selfishly made it in those colors. Um, t the top, putting it on the house. Okay, so here's what I shared. I don't know if it's this one or the mushroom. Okay, let me read it again. The fairy, okay, the mushroom one. So the mushroom one, the way that I assembled this one is that I put all of the panels, the side panels onto the little, what was that, an octagon? The oct or mm, decagon first. I put them all on there first. Then I adhered the inside piece. Thank you, Melissa. God bless you, sweetie. And then after I had those adhered right there in the center, you know how you have your little side tabs? I adhered those onto the decagon underneath. And then I put another decagon on top. So watch my tutorial. I hope that that gives you some clarity. Um... I did try to go ahead and, you know, do everything step by step very clearly, but I would say, you know, go ahead and watch that video. Hopefully it helps. And if not, then uh, feel free to contact me via Instagram on Messenger because I, you know, I'll gladly give you more pointers if you need that, okay? Um, and yes, by all means... I have two separate videos. I purposely did that so that you could take your time. And you know there's that little wheel on uh, the um, the videos on YouTube. You can click on that wheel and even slow it down, which will make me sound really weird, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can mute it, slow it down, and then follow step by step, okay? Thank you so much. These are all Tonic Studios papers. All papers are one third off just saying so if you need any um they're all there 
and then the the other video will be this house okay guys so feel free to save it onto your playlist if you happen to have this on your wish list so that way when you do purchase it then you can go ahead and refer back to the tutorial also okay but i'm gonna leave you guys here and i love you all have a blessed afternoon and thank you once again okay ciao ciao